So the thing about the 2003 version of Astro Boy is that it stood out because it was a lot different than the shonen junk people were used to getting at the time. Now don't get me wrong, I love that shonen junk. I love it a lot. I love all that shonen garbage that everyone else seems to hate. But Astro Boy had themes, it had ideas. Astro Boy was very anti-violence. It was very much about finding alternative solutions to conflict. It was about compassion. It was about diplomacy. It was about pacifism. It was about building a bridge between the, uh, between the dissenting parties, whoever they may be. That's not to say, that's not to say the show is free of violence or anything like that, because there absolutely is violence in the show. But it's always shown it to be a bad thing. Hitting people and blowing people up and shooting people is bad, is what Astro Boy says. And Astro Boy tries to avoid hitting people and shooting people and blowing them up, because it's bad. The show also tries really hard to treat robot life as something of equal value to human life. Because, you know, that's part of the that's part of the show, is trying to build a bridge between humans and robots. And a lot of shows do that, try to treat human and robot life as equal. But a common thing in children's shows is having robots get blown up or destroyed because they're not real people. That's something that anime did a lot, and a lot of Saturday morning shows, but Astro Boy doesn't. Astro Boy treats all life as precious. So the show is very much about understanding and kindness and compassion and not, not killing or murdering anything. Those are bad things to do. Which is, it contrasts a lot with the original Astro Boy, which was pretty mindless pop fluff where there was murder and killing and just whatever stupid stuff may be entertaining to look at or to read. The original Astro Boy didn't really have a point like the 2003 Astro Boy does. Anyway, uh, Astro Boy 2003's point may seem kind of bland nowadays, but at the time it was kind of a big deal to have an action show for children where there's not a lot of hitting or murder going on in any kind of conflict. It's tried, uh, they try to resolve any kind of conflict with peaceful solutions. There's also a lot of really enjoyable recurring characters and the animation is way more gorgeous than it has any right to be, but that's beside the point. Astro Boy 2003 had a theme and it stuck to it. It plays out more like a Saturday morning cartoon than an anime, but it's a good Saturday morning cartoon and I like it. It's one of the best things to air on children's television. That being said, the 2003 Astro Boy reboot also got a video game adaptation on the PS2 developed by Sonic Team and published by Sega. And it's really bad. Uh, it's bad for a lot of reasons. But the reason I dislike it the most personally is that it utterly betrays the core themes of the uh, the license it's based on. Okay, so like in the first in the first episode of Astro Boy, there's a power station robot that goes rogue because it was overflowing with too much power and needed a way to release that energy, and it was in pain because it did not have an adequate outlet to release the energy. So it broke out of its holding cell and started blasting lasers everywhere in a desperate attempt to make the pain stop because it was just overflowing with energy that it couldn't release. And when Astro Boy confronts this living power station, instead of punch it to death or blow it up, he decides to take the energy for himself. Even though he doesn't know that he'll survive the process, he offers to take the energy from the power station into his own body to relieve the power station's pain. That's the first episode, and it's pretty good. It sets up the themes for the entire series to follow, and it shows you how Astro Boy is different from other cartoon shows. You know what happens in the first three minutes of the game based on the cartoon? You punch robots and they explode. Brilliant. The very first thing you do outside of the tutorial is kill fellow robots. And when you confront the power station later as a boss battle, you punch it and start pulling on its legs and beat it in the face before you eventually take its energy. In the cartoon, as soon as the power station starts grumbling in pain, Astro Boy immediately recognizes that it's hurting, and decides to go for a peaceful solution that requires a lot of compassion and self-sacrifice. But in the game, you know, you, you gotta beat the shit out of it first, because this is a video game, we, go, we don't got time to fuck around with that pansy shit. And that got me thinking about how video games handle shit like that in general. Like, there's very few options available for diplomacy in video games. 
And I understand, you know, if you're making an action video game, that's fine. If you're making a video game where the goal is to blow up shit and hit shit, that's perfectly okay. You know, you don't have to make diplomacy an option if you're making an action game. That would be ridiculous to ask of someone, but Astro Boy didn't have to be an action game. Or if it did, it could have been an action game where the solution was something other than blowing people up. I mean, as a licensed game, that's kind of your job, is to portray the license faithfully, and they really fucked that up. Sure, it has the voice actors from, from the anime, good job. But the writing is nothing like it, and I, I don't know, if I wrote Astro Boy, I'd probably be really embarrassed that the game existed. But anyway, playing the Astro Boy game and watching Astro Boy lately also got me thinking about, about uh, pacifism in general. And pacifism seems like a good idea to me, personally. Like, I, I don't like hitting people. I think hitting people is scary. I, I don't enjoy it. If you want to hit people recreationally and safely and consensually, you know, that's fine. But I don't, I don't think hitting people to solve problems is something I'm really a fan of. Doesn't seem ideal. But oftentimes the subject gets brought up that violence is a necessity to solve some conflicts. I don't think I've ever personally been in a conflict where that was the case, so I'm probably not qualified to say too much about that. But there may have been a few conflicts in my life and the lives of people around me where punching people would have made things easier. 